Hello everybody, hi guys, even Dane here, and welcome to my March 2023 book haul. I just have the one book for you today, but it's a very exciting one. Dane reads. Dane reads. Uh, this is volume one of June House of Trades by Brian Herbert, Kevin J. Anderson, Dev Pramanik, and Alex Guimares. And uh, yeah, this is the prequel to June in graphic novel form. Uh, it's broken up into parts one, two, and three. So this is part one. Um, but I really enjoyed House of Trades, so I am looking forward to getting through this. Um, and basically, volumes one, two, and three of this are the only remaining June books that I haven't read. I know I've said that many times before, that's because there was another trilogy that I didn't know existed, so I read that, and then when I finished that I found out that there were some graphic novels that I didn't know existed. So yes, after these graphic novels I'm officially done with June. Very exciting. Alright, holy people, I have a ton of books here. Um, and this is all because my beautiful girlfriend Shay, uh, her and her aunt are having a bit of a clean out, so um, they're getting rid of a bunch of books. So I've pinched a few, some that I'm going to sell on eBay, mostly I'm going to read myself. So let's have a look at what we've got. We've got uh, The Hit by Melvin Burgess. So I read Junk by him, really enjoyed that, so we're going to give that a go. We have They Both Die at the End uh, by Adam Silvera, popular booktube book. We have One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus, I will see. Um, is it written? It is, it's written in present tense. So I don't know if I'm even going to be able to read it because I read a short story of hers in the Miss Marvel collection that was also present tense and it just did, did my head in. We have Everyday Magic by Semra Haxava. Um, that is one of the eBay books. We have The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. As you can see, these are all like booktube favourites. What have we got over here? Oh! We have I Am Pusheen the Cat by Claire Belton. Got Love Pusheen. We have, oh, these are some that I got on eBay, so I'll do those in a minute. Uh, we got The Loop by Ben Oliver. I don't know why I have this one. This one wasn't in my pile. So, I'm not sure why I have this one. Maybe I accidentally picked this one up. I don't know. We have Wikipedia by Sean Robbins and Leanna Greenway. That one's going on eBay. And we have One of Us is Next by Karen M. McManus, which is the sequel to One of Us is Lying, but again, I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy it. Um, then I got my eBay purchase. I bought Exile in the Kingdom by Albert Camus. Slowly working my way through all of Camus' books. Might even read that next. And then I got a job lot of Arthur C. Clarke books. So we got 2001, A Space Odyssey. Um, we got 2010, Odyssey 2. And 2061, Odyssey 3. Then I also got Expedition to Earth and the Other Side of the Sky. So Arthur C. Clarke being like one of the founding fathers, I suppose, of modern sci-fi. Um, I just want to want to get into his stuff. So I thought, when I saw a job lot of them going, I thought, hey, why the heck not? So that's, that's why I got them. So uh, I had to go to hospital overnight. And while I was there, I ran out of books. I'd only taken two with me. And I re read them both while I was just waiting in the emergency room. But luckily, they had a sort of book exchange there. And while I was there, I picked up The Talented Mr. Ripley by Patricia Highsmith. Um, I also have this little pile here. So I got all these in the post. I got uh, The Fight Journal, poems by John W. Evans, and Rattle, issue number 79. So this is both because I, I submitted to uh, a poetry competition by Rattle Magazine, and as part of the submission fee, you get like free shit, basically, so that'll be fun. And then I got June, House of Trades, volume two, by Brian Herbert, Kevin J. Anderson, Dev Pramanek, and Alex Guimares. Hello, greetings and guten tag. A book came in the post today, and that is Pirates in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, which is book number 25 in the Wizard of Oz series. Um, not too much to say, I'm just slowly working my way through this series. So I've got this, and then once I've read this, on to book number 26, I guess. Um, I've also ordered some Albert Camus, so we will see if it arrives. Because uh, basically I'm kind of trying to tick off series, and at the moment I'm working on the uh, June, the graphic novels. Um, which I only have the one owned and then one after that to get. Obviously the rest of Oz, and then whenever I'm not ticking off a series, I'm slowly working through my huge to-read list. And alphabetically I've got as far as Albert Camus. But at least that means I've read all of the Alan Bennett. And the Agatha Christie. Hello everybody, I have a book to haul for you. It is Bay's End by Edward Lorne. Um, what do I need to know about this book, Shay? She's shrugging at me, she's shy. Well, Shay's just read this in pretty much one sitting and said it was very good and blew her mind. And is the third Edward Lawn book in a row that has done that. So um, she's kindly agreed to let me borrow it so I can read it afterwards. So I will let you guys know what I think and then I'll give it back to Princess Shay Shay over there. Look after it. 
Look after it. She says she cracked her spine. How dare she? Hello! Okay, so I went to get a new tattoo today in a town called Marlow. And while I was there, um, I popped around the charity shops. Actually, annoyingly enough, I, I was there half an hour early, so I went around the charity shops. And then I got to my appointment and they were like, you're half an hour late and they'd written the wrong time down on their end. So I could have just gone straight there. But hey ho, I got some books. I got uh, Matilda's How To Be Brave by Roald Dahl. Um, not read that one. I have read Matilda, but I haven't read that. Uh, we have The Thousand Autumns of Jacob de Zoe by David Mitchell. Um, slowly but surely working my way through all of the David Mitchell books. I think Charles Heathcote here on Booktube. I think that might have been his first Mitchell. I'm pretty sure he's read it in, in, in any case. Um, I got Castle Door by Daphne du Maurier. I don't know anything about this book, um, but I've read a few du Maurier's now and quite enjoy her stuff. And then I picked up two Kurt Vonnegut's, so I got Slaughterhouse 5 and Breakfast of Champions. Somehow I'm pretty sure I haven't read either of these. Um, I haven't read uh, Slaughterhouse 5 anyway, as far as I know. I'm pretty sure I would remember of having read that. I think both of these, to be honest, I'm pretty sure I haven't read. But uh, there was no signal in the shop, so I couldn't check my Goodreads, so I just got them anyway. And if I have read them, they'll go on eBay. Okay, haul time. You're gonna have to bear with me here. Oh! All right, I have like three stacks of books like this because uh, I bought this uh, job lot of sci-fi books on eBay. I spent about 30 quid, which is probably 35, 40 dollars, including delivery, and I got a whole ton of books. Um, I'm mostly, I want to keep the Arthur C. Clarke ones, and there is one Frank Herbert one I want to read. The rest of them are probably going to go on my eBay, so I'll link that below. I'm just going to whiz through these. We have 2010 Odyssey 2, Arthur C. Clarke. I actually already have that one. The City and the Stars by Arthur C. Clarke, that's a keeper. Imperial Earth by Arthur C. Clarke, that is another keeper. The Stainless Steel Rat by Harry Harrison. The Rebel of Rada by Robert Cham Gilman. Uh, the Uplift War by David Brin. Private, oh, Privateers by Ben Bover. Earthman Come Home by James Blish. So a lot of these are very classic sci-fi authors. Timescape by Gregory Benford. Tactics of Mistake by Gordon R. Dixon. Uh, Kronk by Edmund Cooper. Transit by Edmund Cooper. In Deep, Seven Science Fiction Stories by Damon Knight. Orbit 2, uh, edited by Damon Knight. This has got Brian Aldiss, Kate Wilhelm and Richard McKenna in it, plus a bunch of others actually. Uh, Orbit 3, edited by Damon Knight. So short story collections. The Other Side of the Sky, 24 sci-fi stories by Arthur C. Clarke. I think I haven't read that one. Rendezvous with Rama, Arthur C. Clarke, very famous one. Whipping Star by Frank Herbert, so that's the one Frank Herbert that I haven't read that was with this lot. Alien Worlds, edited by Roger Elwood. The Outposter by Gordon R. Dixon. The Storm by Gordon R. Dixon. Masters of Everon by Gordon R. Dixon. The Alien Way by Gordon R. Dixon. The Gates of Creation by Philip Jose Farmer. Tongues of the Moon by Philip Jose Farmer. Computer Handbooks Languages, Assembly Language for the 8086 and 8088 by Robert Erskine. Very nice, very old school. New York City Blues by Eric Brown. Ugh, okay, The Best of Arthur C. Clarke, 1937 to 1971. William Gibson and Bruce Sterling, The Difference Engine. Discoveries, a unique science fiction anthology presented by Focus magazine. Philip Jose Farmer, The Lava Light World. A Far Sunset by Edmund Cooper. Great Stories of Space Travel, edited by Groff Cronklin. Uh, Jupiter Laughs by Edmund Cooper. Skyfall by Harry Harrison. Winter in Eden by Harry Harrison. West of Eden by Harry Harrison. The Earth Tripper by Leo P. Kelly. Space War by Neil R. Jones. And finally, The Dasadi Experiment by Frank Herbert, and I have read that one. So yes, that is the lot. I'm going to go and photograph them for eBay now. Alright guys, so those were all of the books that I hauled in the month of uh, March 2023. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.